she's she's very understanding. You know, we can we can go to her if we feel that we have a problem or we need to talk to her, and she's there to guide us with our life nights and also to give us feedback. Rita, she's not very many people may think this, but she's a very hard worker. Um, she does her job. She does it well, just to you know. Um, lead us and she also takes care of us and she babies us too and we also give her headaches that I'm really sure that she loves too. She's like our mother. She is our mother. Atsuria is is a great leader for our ministry. Uh, not just a leader, but um, she's somewhat of a spiritual director. You know, just seeing her, seeing what she's been through, being with the program for such a long time and I, I, I feed off of her. Uh, I really look up to to the fact that she's always in prayer, she's always thinking about and trying to live out God's will. Rita is a youth director. She thinks I joke when I tell her this. I always um, have to remind her of how she's my hero. Uh, when I hunger for God, uh, it's to her and just seeing her service. She's one of my heroes and she does you know, think that I'm just messing with her, but seriously, you know, honestly she is and she is one of the reasons why I'm still here serving because it was through her invitation at the First Life Team Mass in 1995 when I was in 8th grade that I was invited to come to celebrate um, Mass, the Eucharist, and then to kick off this new program, this new youth ministry that they're starting called the Life Team Program. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have uh, converted to Catholicism as I did, and I wouldn't be here as a youth minister today. So Rita's been a big role model for me and for many others here in this program and she's just an example of what it means to serve. She's taught me a lot in terms of becoming a better leader. Um, not just not just in terms of life team, but I guess living out my life as a Catholic. She really has um, shown me a lot of things and I'm really grateful for her. Over 16 years ago, Father Bob brought it to our attention to the parish that we were implementing a new youth program. Therefore, he asked those who were interested to um, meet at a certain night. And from there, that's when it first began. Years down the line, in 1999, we were actually praying for uh, another youth minister. And while the parish was praying, as well as myself, um, I felt God calling me. Um, through prayer and discernment and actually through a dream. What I'm thankful for this program is just basically it. It's the program. It has really brought our parish together as a whole. What I see is the growth in everybody and I'm just blessed as a product of the program. This program has been dedicated um, in, the, in dedication to our Mother Mary. And we always end with the um, Ave Maria. As much as you see the hurt and the pain that the youth go through, when we gather in a circle around the altar and um, we close in prayer, we sing the Ave Maria. That just fills me up. They know when it comes to singing the Ave Maria, they're in total surrender to God. And you can just hear, it's like all the angels coming together and sing. And I think that's one of the most powerful things because we know that our mother is there with us and that by offering this program to her, she is praying for us. And that's where I get my own fulfillment. This is where I met my husband. and. Um, Without this program, I'm not sure if I would have met him, although it is in God's plan that we were created for each other. So it is the fulfillment of having my husband, and we are so blessed to have our children, Riley, Riley, and Jamie. So I thank God for that. This woman has a resilience level that is unbreakable. Her strength comes from God, and the arms of a loving, warm husband. Today, and for a very long time now, she knows without a doubt that I love her and will always 